his name is like Guy Kawasaki. I think you've probably yep. mentioned him in your podcast before or some mm-hmm. some other way. But um, but yeah, it was his books that really kind of kind of sparked the sort of topic for me too, because he was very like direct about this sort of relationship. <laughs> like he didn't really hide like it's in the name. And I think sometimes when I was reading some research, like academic research, they didn't want to make that connection super clear. But when I read his work, it was pretty pretty clear like that's where he kind of got the sort of this this note this concept of evangelism but I mean it comes from like Christian evangelism where it's like they would go anywhere and everywhere to spread the good news or spread this new thing that people don't really know about and at the time it was like Christianity because no one really knew what it was so you have to tell everybody about it I think when it comes to like innovation or tech or and I think when I say tech or innovation it can kind of extend outside of just like iPhones or computers. Like it can be something like maybe like a water purifier that people don't know about or or something else. Maybe it doesn't even have to be like electrical, but just like this new idea that spreads and that people are really excited about it and kind of want to tell people about it and educate them about it. I guess that's also like that tied to religion and Christianity because there is like this educational component too because People, it's like this complex thing like tech is complex but like religion is also complex so it's like people have to teach other people about it to really understand it in a way that they can really like comprehend it so I, I think that's kind of where that connection is 